Okay, this is a project I've been working on. These are traveler radios with Telecron clocks. This one actually was my grandmother's from 1950. And when we cleaned out her house in 1980, this was in the basement. And I've refinished the cabinet. This one was my stepfather's and it was used in the barn in the 80s playing WNYR. I had tried to refinish it once and did a horrible job. So I've redone it again and now I actually have matching clock radios. Okay, the insides. When I tried to operate this, all it would do is hum. Bad caps. Of course, it is 57 years old. Almost 60 years old now. This capacitor is a dual 50 MFD at 150 volts. And by the looks of the inside, it's pretty well burned up. friend of mine that has a lot of old parts and stuff actually gave me a F NOS factory OEM dual 50 pyramid brand cap. So I put it in there and the radio played perfectly. It still has four paper caps in it. Three of them are .05 at 400 volts. And one of them is a point one. I want to put all new parts in these ultimately, but I use the used parts and old parts just to make sure that the radios were still good. Grandma's radio is a little different. This one's a standard five tube super heterodyne set. This one only has four tubes. By the way, these are bypass jumpers that bypass the clock section of the radio. So I can work on the radio without the clock getting in my way. This one I did kind of weird repair as a temporary patch. We have the three paper capacitors. Same thing, 0.05 at 400 MFD. And then for the electrolytic, it's a 40 MFD at 150 volts, a 20 MFD at 150 volts, and a 10 MFD at 25 volts. I did find a 4020 at 150 volts, more modern, and temporarily patched it in. The 10 MFD at 25 volts is still in circuit, and the other two are cut out and tied into the new one. Kind of redneck. Of course, the radio plays perfectly. So yes, I do want to put all brand new ones in it when I'm done so that when future family generations find these, they'll still work. The performance on these is, is quite, quite good. This one's got the extra heavy duty cord with an outlet so you could have it brew your coffee automatically before they were putting clocks in coffee makers. And I do need to replace the end of the cord. So for now I'm just sticking it into another cord so I can turn the set on.
There we go. It was on coffee pot mode. Tubes start up quite quickly in these things. They're really neat. Definitely a throwback to the past. This actually has ball bearings in the tuning capacitor, believe it or not. I'm going to have to turn my lights off because I got ball fluorescent bulbs in them and that's raising hell with the... AM radio. Not a book. <laughs> Little one at home. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Child proofing your home. Child proofing your yard. Child proofing your in laws' home and yard. Of all the things you can read to keep your child safe, the most important is attached to their car seat. Read the instruction manual. There isn't much on AM anymore up in this area. Just using an old capacitor out of the junk box. India, 20% off. This set doesn't seem to bring in a lot of channels, but then again, there's only like four channels left. The one weird thing is this radio, Grandma's, has this long antenna wire. So anybody knows anything about Travelers? I'm wondering if that was factory or if Grandpa did something weird. Is inside the case it shows a ferrite magnet on one of those bars with the AM antenna on a bar wrapped around a ferrite core Again, just using a junk capacitor, replace two-thirds of the capacitor. And the performance of the radio is quite outstanding. I don't think you have any idea that hit the ball bearings and the uh, tuning capacitor. Of course, I think these need an alignment too. The station comes in a totally different spot on the tuner than the other one. I'll hold the wire in my hand. Minus says they are a boogeyman as well. Reminds you until you finally search for it and find it that Martin Luther King Jr. himself gave a speech in which he said, make, make no mistake about it. 
Anyone who says they're an anti-Zionist is anti-Jewish. Martin Luther King Jr. So there we have it. Two traveler radios. If anybody has any information as to the antenna, if anybody's ever interested in these things, they do only play AM, but they have sentimental value. And I would actually like to see if Retro Chad would be interested in helping me with these at all. They're pretty simple. And they're pretty elegant.